This video is sponsored by the Flute Center of New York. Please do not actually wear your mask like this. This is 100% not COVID safe. First one is ready for you. I want you to guess if it is a student flute, a pre-professional flute, or a professional flute. I'm feeling open hole. Some of the student model flutes are also open hole these days. So it is a B foot joint. Let's see if it's split E. It is split E. Just from feel alone, I'm gonna guess it's not beginner. Does it have a C sharp trill? Yeah, no C sharp trill. So it's not a Miyazawa, I know for sure. It doesn't have the crossbow thumb key, right? <laughs> oh, it's a little on the lighter side. So it's really easy to go really high. And I have noticed that a lot of pre-professional stuff tends to be very easy to play up high. You can't tell what brand this is. <laughs> that is cheating. Okay, wait. If it helps, there's three different kind of models with this brand. Oh dear. Is it just made out of a metal that I'm that I don't pick up very often, and is that what, what's throwing me right now? Maybe. This is so light to me. Yeah. I think it's plated. I, but then You like, are correct. <laughs> okay, because I was like, the lightness of it yeah. is like not something I normally feel, because silver is usually quite a bit heavier. Yeah. No way. Do they make beginners with split ease B foot joints? Oh my gosh, because if they do, that is luxurious. <laughs> It is a really strong low register too. Okay, the feel of it is a beginner because mm. of the weight of it is like mm -hmm. a beginner. But like the feel of it is more like a pre-professional. Just because I think I'm being thrown, I'm gonna say beginner. Veil. It's a Trevor James. Privilege, yeah. I'm kind of speechless. <laughs> Wait, so the whole thing is plated? Yeah, they do make the option for a silver lip and riser, but that one does not have it. I'm amazed. Yeah. And we do have the one with silver lip and riser as well, which is also great. Like, how much more is that with the um, silver? I think maybe $200 more. It's really not very much. Yeah. Okay, guys, you know, <laughs> um, if you want to go into music school, honestly, I think you could get in All with right. this. <laughs> yeah. Like, you really could. Eleven eighty. Wow. Thank All you right. so very I'm much. I'm for the next one. So this one, you're also going to feel that it's quite light. So okay. it might throw you for another loop. Oh um, dear. I think it would be fun to guess the metal then. Oh dear, and okay. Extra bonus points if you can get the brand as well. Oh my gosh, okay, okay. Oh no. I'll oh, make no. you another coffee later. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you put plugs in here, didn't you? <laughs> so split E. <gasps> C sharp trill. I'm feeling the lip hole and it's quite big. Oh, oh this is quite a bit heavier. The tube actually feels I know it's smaller too. Yo, this is really comfortable to me. Yeah. <laughs> you agree? I could play that flute every day. Just happy. <laughs> right? It's quite heavy this way. Oh, wow. Big yeah. sound. So I'm guessing the metal, right? Yes. It's heavier. So I don't think the whole thing is plated. First mm -hmm. one was definitely silver plated throughout, right? Mm -hmm. So it has that kind of like brighter, kind of more punchy sound almost. Mm -hmm. This one's like darker, mellower. You would need a much higher budget for this flute. Okay, much higher, much higher, huh? Okay, it's quite a bit heavier. <laughs> I'm checking like the roundness of the air stream because mm. <laughs> I always find that like gold will sort of force you to have a more circular air stream. It's something I noticed about my flute. Basically people who don't like my flute, they don't like how like it kind of cuts off the sides of their airstream. Mm. Is this gold? Yes. Do you want to guess the carrot? Oh, guess the carrot. Here's my thinking. My flute's 10k. This feels heavier. Hmm. 14k? No. No? Is it 10k? No. Not no, that good. close. Wait, close? Mm -hmm. Is it a 9k? It is. 
Oh, it's a Miramatsu. <laughs> yeah, one of your viewers got it like right away. Yeah. <laughs> really? See, they're so good. Okay. You're doing great so far. Oh my god. <laughs> it's making me like go into like the recesses of my mind. Let's go for brand this time. Oh no. <laughs> what do we have here? We got one C sharp trill again. Of course you chose one that has like all the bells and whistles and let's feel the lip hole. I have a kind of a sharp drop off on mm. this side. Oh, I made a video about this, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, tons of power. Yeah. That sharp drop off just kind of like makes everything like go nuts. <laughs> Burkhardt's really reliable. Yamaha is like pretty reliable. You're on the right path. Am I on the mm -hmm. right path? It's an American flute, right? Can I can I go for that? Well, you can go for that, but you would be wrong. <laughs> oh, it's not an American flute. <laughs> reviewed this before. Andrew says I might go with Yamaha because here it's a 687 it sounds like the discussion you had with him while testing. So Andrew's my one of my students Okay. and we found out that he matches Yamaha's really well. Wait so everything I said was actually in that discussion <laughs> with him? Oh my goodness. There's a, uh, a certain Phil Unger in this chat who says <laughs> so cool. And then you just realized you can tune in, even though you were steps away, in stereo. Three for three, Joanna. Three for three. Yeah. You know, I actually didn't think I was going to do do this well, so, you know. I mean, to be fair, you guys gave me hints. For this one, we want you to guess the level of flu. Student, pre-professional, okay. professional, idiot. Okay. Oh, not split E. Oh, but you might be throwing me too because like there's plenty of professional flutes out there that don't have all the bells and whistles. Yeah. Mine also doesn't have split E. Yeah, mine neither. So B foot joint, no split E, no C sharp trill. Okay, so we'll start with that. Pointed key arms, but every flute has pointed key arms these days. As a student learning, like you can very clearly see which keys your fingers are supposed to go on. Cause like when there was all That's Y true. arms, right? Yeah. yeah, when it's all Y arms, they all look the same. Okay, so there's nice weight to it. Not too light. There's nothing really standing out to me much. <laughs> I'm having to like create a very wide airstream for this. Okay. I keep having to do like a <laughs> this face. This would make you frown. Yes. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Just from the way it feels in my mouth. The range of movement is very small. So if this is like a pre-professional or, or a beginner, this mm -hmm. is very impressive. Mm -hmm. Like that, it's a two octave jump between a high E and a low E and it's like immediate. That's what I was sort of feeling for when I was doing the uh, the harmonics going up because I was seeing it like how far back in the mouth I need to go. But like the highest one is actually very close to the lowest one too. Because normally I feel like for like a beginner flute, like I have to kind of go <sighs> for the high <laughs> notes. And then like for the low notes, I'm like <laughs> trying to play as far forward as possible. I would rule out beginner. Okay. Okay, if this is pre-professional, this is very impressive. So I'm gonna go with professional. I will say that this brand makes a lot of professional flutes. Uh-huh. This particular one... Is not. Is pre-professional. 
This is a Miyazawa. This is a. This is. So it's with a silver lip and riser, all plated, handmade. I, I'm very impressed, guys. <laughs> it plays like a professional. Because, like, really, that range of movement yeah. is so small that I would not expect it on a pre professional. I'm actually really glad I got this one wrong. Yeah. Currently going for 3345. I don't think I could have found a flute that plays this well when I was in school. I don't think they made it to this level, but like silver plated. I'm speechless. Like, that is. You guys should get this, please. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, I wanted to take a quick second to tell you guys about the Flute Center of New York. The Flute Center resident flutists are experts in all things flutes and are happy to help you find the perfect instrument, accessories, and sheet music. But really, they are more than just a flute shop. They are also passionate about creating inspiring content for all flutists to enjoy. So be sure to follow the Flute Center of New York on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok for flute-centric performances, masterclasses, and content of all kinds. Links will be in the info section below this video. When purchasing a flute through the Flute Center of New York, you can use my code JAF at checkout at flutecenter.com or when requesting a trial. Code perks include free domestic shipping within the US, an extended 10-day trial instead of 7 days, and an extended 18-month warranty instead of 12 months. You'll be able to try up to three instruments per trial at a time. Head over to flutecenter.com to request a trial today. Happy flute shopping, everyone. Now back to the video. That I chose would be fun to do together. Oh dear. If you're up for that yeah, I'm challenge. I'm down. I am down for that challenge. <laughs> the reason why they're together is because there is a fun relationship in there. Oh, what could that relationship be? <laughs> okay, well I'm gonna feel around first and get my oh, fingerprints Lord. all over them. <laughs> Key work is very very light on this mm. one. Okay, this <laughs> one has this sharp drop off again. <gasps> Um, you can get that one without the wings too. You can got it. Your you can choose your head joint. Yeah. B foot joint. Okay. B foot joint. B foot joint. B yeah. foot joint. <laughs> Someone has noted that the auto-generated captions on YouTube uh, turn B foot joint into beef with joy. <laughs> beef with joy. They're not the same. They're brand. not even the same level. Oh. So there's quite a bit of weight to this one. It feels very big to me too. Okay, very narrow airstream. I'm gonna put it down very gingerly. So there's this one now. Oh my, oh, oh, oh my goodness, this is heavy. <laughs> There's no way even gold is this heavy. Is it? This is really heavy. Okay, so I'm starting with level, right? Yeah. Yeah, like you, it, you can't crack it almost. They're very resistant, yeah. yeah. Oh, wow, yeah, it can take a lot. From the weight okay. of this one, plus the fact that it can take that much, I'm going to guess that this is professional. Correct. And then this one I need to guess now, right? Yeah. <laughs> a very very wide airstream this one's very very narrow wait that one was the winged one right yeah. I, at least i personally feel that the wings always kind of helps streamline yeah. it a bit more yeah. right you feel that too <laughs> just the feel of the keys yeah i almost kind of feel like I think it's not professional. 
but I can't tell now if it's between beginner or pre-professional. Or maybe something in between. In between, I guess. Like a step up, maybe. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have the beginner flute feel. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Like, it's more refined than that. Right. But I wouldn't say that it's as refined as, like, top professional. Right. I'll go with yeah. step up, I think. Okay. Great intermediate. Yeah. Step up. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. So I did get that right yeah. then between the two. Are you up for guessing the brand? <sighs> They're two different brands? Yeah. <laughs> I can give you three options for one of them. Yeah. Let's do that. For the one you have in your hand. Okay. It's either a Burkhart Rosona. Okay. Um, an Azumi. Okay. Or a Dijal. Those are, they all make great flutes in that level. <laughs> I remember the Dijon pinky key for some reason mm. is a bit smaller. I don't know if this is small though. I made a video about this, didn't I? Okay. I'm gonna go with Burkhart Rosona. Oh. Are you sure? It's <sighs> that your <laughs> final answer. Oh no. <laughs> I'm also thinking back to my students who have had all three models mm. and I'm trying to think about what I taught them to get them to sound really good. I just did what my one of my other students did on an Izumi, where they kind of like open up their mouth a lot on the low notes. Dang, this is hard. <laughs> wow, they put cork down here, didn't they? Is it legit cork? That's impressive. Is it a Dijon? It is. It is. Yeah. Is it a 700? Wait, don't look. You have to guess the other one. Oh, okay. Wait, no. There's a relationship between the two. Mm -hmm. I think I do know. This one's the professional, isn't yeah. it? Is it a Powell? Yeah. Yes. Yay. Yeah, it takes a lot of power. Yeah. Yes, all Powells take yeah. a ton of yeah. power. <laughs> Dijon worked for Powell before, yeah. right? So this is a Dijon 600. Yeah. Oh my goodness. And then, yeah, this is silver Powell. Some people guess platinum. It's it's so, so heavy. Yeah. Is it a heavy wall or no? No. no. This is a pretty good contender if people don't want heavy wall. Yeah but they want that heavy wall feel. Exactly, I, I play on a Powell and I just... Right? Yeah. That power is insane. Like, if you want to project like nothing else in the world, Powell is so good for that. Dijon put real cork on there. That's really cool. Because I have seen quite a bit where they put the plastic on right. there instead, yeah. right? To kind of save on costs. But yeah, he, he puts the real deal on there. I'm speechless. Johnny, you did a great job. Thank you. <laughs> I'm so impressed. Thank you. <laughs> there is one more flute. It's your turn. I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave this option up to you. Okay. And what you want to guess about it. Oh no, okay. I'm setting my own and setting it up for myself then. Okay, okay. I think people know me the most for reviewing different brands. Okay. So even though I think that's the hardest one to guess, mm -hmm. we'll go with that. Okay. <laughs> See if I'm actually up to snuff. <laughs> of course, so B, B foot joint, gizmo, oh, C sharp roller as well, okay. C sharp trill as well. This thing is decked out. Split E, it has all the bells and whistles. What's going on with the head joint? It's another sharp drop off here. So I'm gonna guess it's gonna be pretty powerful sound as well. Let's pick it up. Oh, that's heavy on this side as well. Oh, that's that's pretty heavy. Yeah, it's pretty heavy. Okay, I'm gonna have to do some harmonics on this because okay. I'm gonna need to like figure this out. I can feel that I'm not quite doing it right.
I have to do what I have termed bullfrog playing, where okay. I basically have to play like as if I'm a bullfrog. Like I have to go. Okay. I always feel that there are some flutes where I don't have enough bottom jaw area to okay. play it. So I always feel like I have to go. <laughs> like, it's almost as if I need to, like, create an underbite to play it. I'm going to now play a bit more, and then I'm going to blow on my hand to see what, this, what the airstream's like. <laughs> like bring my jaw forward a bit it'll just kind of like open up a little bit okay. so okay so i just noticed from the airstream that it, it's more on the narrow side okay and it is a little heavy which it is, is a unique metal combination. Um, yeah, I feel that. like there's some gold in it. Mm -hmm. That's what I feel. Mm -hmm. So if it's a metal combination, could it be one of those ones that's like um like an like an aramite or something? Give me the brands. Okay. So Branham. Okay. Haynes. Okay. Burkhart. <sighs> <laughs> All three brands actually work really well with me. Mm -hmm. I would say Brandon is the only one that kind of like just won it by a hair for me. It is very heavy. Brannons usually feel a little smaller, I would say. Okay. It's a pretty big D sharp key, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Because my brain's like, Brannon should feel smaller. But that is a giant D sharp key, which I believe mm -hmm. Brannons are known to make giant D sharp keys. Because I've like compared my keys with some of my students. They're like, oh my god, why is yours so huge? <laughs> um, so Brandon makes, I believe, the 1585 as well, which is a gold and silver alloy, mm -hmm. right? But that's an alloy, right. not two layered. Right. Two layered will probably give you the heavier combo, though, right? <laughs> Am I just being thrown off by the weight? Maybe. And is the weight making me feel like it's bigger? When I tried, I think it was a Burkhart with a, well, I think the riser was like 14 karat or something like that. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, oh man, this like feels really good to me, except the fact that the rest of the, me like the mechanism felt big to me. Unless they've changed it, this mechanism does not feel big to me. Okay. But am I making a mistake to rule out Burkhart? Go with your gut. This feels like a heavy Brandon. Man, I don't know. <laughs> you know how some flutes, like, you can feel like it feels really big to you, mm -hmm. whereas some, like, it feels like you don't have to stretch as much? Yeah. Right? So, like, this one... I don't particularly feel I have to stretch a lot. But I can't remember how I feel on the Hanes. Is there any other hint you can give me? They also make um, like a student intermediate and then a pre-professional line as well. Mm, okay. I would rule out Brandon then. Okay. Wow. This has taken a turn. <laughs> I feel like you know what it is. I do? <laughs> yeah. Does the Hanes make me play? More like that. I'm just waffling back and forth <laughs> right now. I know Burkhart is very extensive in their line of, like, they make really good beginners, mm -hmm. very good everything in between. Like, I think that's one of the things that makes Burkhart really, really special in that way. Haynes also has the Haynes Amadeus, which is also really good. I have several students who have the Amadeus, and they work so, so, so well. My experience with Haynes, I would almost describe it as, like, sweet, especially as we've kind of gotten into the current era. Like, I would say most people are going a lot for, like, power and projection. Uh, so they've, like, put in a lot of that into Haynes, like, mm -hmm. over the years. But they s it still maintains this really sweet quality. Yeah. Burkhart, I feel, depending on, like, the cuts and the, the, like, different head joints and the different metals that you get, there's a little bit more variety. Mm -hmm. My gut is telling me Burkhart. Would I be correct? 
No. No. Then you should unveil and see for yourself. It is a Hanes. Yeah. <gasps> wow. So this is a Hanes fusion. Fusion? Outside, yeah. So the outside is... 14K gold. 14K gold. That's why it's so heavy. And then the inside is silver. That's why I couldn't tell what it was. <laughs> it plays with a ton of power, but then the airstream is like, it plays like a gold, but it sounds like a silver. That's really interesting. Okay, I'm what, five out of seven? Hey! Such a great job. I Thank you. I threw you for a loop for some of them. Tried to make it as difficult as possible. You did. did. It fantastic. was fantastic. <laughs> you were great. Round of applause in the chat for Lauren. Oh. And also a round of applause in the chat for Ninja Hubs, for John, for helping us out. Beef with joint one more time. Beef with joint. <laughs> Beef with joint. <laughs> <laughs>